What's up guys, Rafi right here and today I'm going to be talking about a product that is going to make your audio recordings a lot easier. That is, if you record videos like this or planning to improve your audio recording. Now if you're not planning to do any of that, then maybe this is not the video for you. But if it is, stay tuned. So let's talk about microphones, specifically the microphone that goes on top of your camera attached to the cold shoe mount. I have here the new kind of microphone from mobile and the good people at mobile they reach out to me and they send their newest mic that is called the double mic. So let's see what the difference in this mic compared to all of the other mics and why it's called a double mic. Now I have reviewed multiple mobile products in the past in my channel and you can check those videos in the cards above or in the description down below. And in all those videos, I've been very honest about how I feel about those products. It's been my opinion, my opinion only, and I'm not getting paid to say anything good or bad about them. They just send the products to me for me to review them and express my own opinion to you guys. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do tech reviews, travel videos, and also sneaker reviews. So if you like any of those topics, consider subscribing to the channel right here down below. So with that said, let's open this box and let's get on with the first impression and review of the mic from mobile. Let's go. So like I said, they sent this box to me, so let's open it up. I already kind of went ahead and opened it up for you guys, but uh, let's try it out. Let's see what we have available over here. So let's take a look at it. Ooh, this is nice. They sent me a gift too. So again, thank you mobile for sending this hat right here. It says creative crew on the hat. That's pretty neat. I really like this. And it says a mobile creators wanted. All right, nice. Let's put it on right away. Let's see how it, how it works, how it feels. It's pretty good, pretty good material. Nice fit it, pretty good. Again, thank you again, Mo, for sending this hat right here. <laughs> now let's dive in a little bit more. Let's see what we have here. Let me put this here to a side. And then we have a paper here. It talks about the double mic video microphone. It has some of the uh, what's included, some of the specifications, the differences, which I'll talk in a moment with you guys. But for now, let me put this here to a side. And I guess we have here. Make sure there's nothing else. Nope, there's nothing else. So let's put this here to a side. All right. So we have here the double mic. It comes in this box, small box right here. And let's take a look at what's inside the box. Now, like I said before, in the past, I've made video about different products from mobile. For example, the lavalier that I'm using right now. It is from mobile they send it out to me as well to review it so i highly recommend you guys check that video i'll put a card right up here so you guys can get to see that video also the video mic that is also on top of the camera in front of me is also their pro version that they sent to me so again i'm going to put those links in the description down below now one product that i've always been using is the brx 10 mic from mobile that mic has been wonderful you know it worked for me so good and i'll definitely talk about more that in a second so this is next generation of that same mic regarding the pro and also the double mic or the br extend so let's open it up and see what it's all about now every mobile product comes also with an additional two-year warranty so i highly recommend whenever you can activate that warranty you can go you know to their website or anything like that and activate their warranty which is great let's open it up one thing about like mobile or a company that put you know package together is how easy it is to get things out and mobile does it great you know they allow it to remove the product right away without having too much hassle to remove uh, the product so and also i guess they also included a pouch so what better way to carry your items than in a nice pouch let's see inside here you got extra cables we're going to take a look at in a second what they are soft padding in the inside and to be honest all of these pouches you know in cases can be used for a lot of different things you can use them to store battery cables whatever um, here's a, a windscreen one of those very 
windscreen. Let's, uh, let's open it up. Yep, very small windscreen right here. Great for outdoors. Let's see what else we have right here. Okay, so this is the windscreen. This is the smaller, not the furry one. All right, and this is the other windscreen as well. Now, when I said double mic, you know, normally you think that it's two mics, but in reality, it has two microphones. One for the front and one towards the back. So you can pick which mic do you want it on, the front one or the back one, or in this case, both of the same type, front and back. So one of the things that I've been like frustrated about when I'm recording, you know, audio or video in general, outside, out and about, and I'm especially doing more of the traveling blog, I'm having trouble record what's in front of me or the back of me. So I tend to always rotate my camera, you know, with the tripod that I had and everything. But luckily, you know, um, with mobile now allowing you to record both sides, you won't have to rotate the camera anymore. You'll be able to record whatever's on front and also what's on the back at the same time. Or if you want to prioritize a specific, you know, area front or back, you can switch it right here on the top. And also in here, it has the option to switch between smartphone or camera. Therefore, you know which device it's using. It does have all the functions and I'll get to that in a second. But it specifically says here, F for front, R for rear. And the cable is attached. So you no longer have to worry about plugging it in or anything like that. The cable's already attached. And the good thing is also it's at the bottom. So it's not so much towards the back anymore because you know the back you need to use it. It's actually towards the bottom and it also coil, which is another plus as well. So you wanna have the least amount of cable dangling around the camera. And the last piece that we have here, the Ryko shock mount. I don't quite like the shock mount, the style of it, because it kind of takes up too much space in my opinion. Now, let me show you what the first generation was, which I still think is the best. So back here, I have kind of the first generation. And like I said, this is the Movo VXR10 that I did a review about it here in the channel. I'll put the link out here so you guys can see it. But the reason about this shock is that it's smaller. You see the amount of space that this is taking over compared to this big one that is taking a lot more space. The other thing why I like it is because it's sturdy, you know, it's strong. There's just not a lot of movement, there's not a lot of happening. Here, when you have the uh, mic, it might be moving back and forward a little bit, you know, not too much, but a little bit. So taking the least amount of space is kind of what I go for. And that's why I like this one so much. And until this day, it's still my favorite mic to use. And I pretty much on everything, my traveling blog, or making videos like this, or just in general, you know, this is the mic that I always bring with me. But not saying that this one is bad, it's just for my taste, for my opinion, this is kind of the ones that I don't like so much. I like better this one right here. So construction wise, you know, this seems to be pretty good, around the same. They seem to be also around the same size as well, versus the uh, VXR10 and the uh, double mic right here. On the side, we have here a space where you can put also a headphone jack. You can also monitor your audio if you wanna listen to what's actually coming in through those mics right here. Now, like I said, included is the uh, double mic with attached 3.5 TRRS cable. There's also the right cup uh, liar shuck mount. There are two windscreens and there are two fairy windscreen as well. And last but not least is also the case that comes included as well. So if you need to travel, take it out, keep all your parts safe in this uh, case, it comes in handy and it comes included as well. Now, some of the specification, this transducer is a condenser mic. So a super car door, it's pick up, you know, crips, precision audio while eliminating some background noises, perfectly for outdoor shoots. You know, this one here is also has universal compatibility with smartphones, tablet, mirrorless camera, and DSLR, and more. And it also supports, like I said, for headphones, for playback on smartphone with third-party apps, but it's not supported for DSLR. 
All right, guys, so now that we know all the ins and outs and its features of the double microphone, let's put it to a test. I'm gonna try out with the windscreen, I'm gonna try it out also with the ferry and the shaking it to see if those vibrations picked up by the mic. So let's go out and take a look at it. All right, all right, all right, guys. So we are out here, and one of the things that I wanted to try here with this mic is, like I said, is an audio recording, especially outdoors. Because what happened is, you know, um, which I'm so glad that mobile did this, you know, this microphone, what it does, it captures audio from the front. You can also set it to cut capture for the back. Or one of the best thing about it is that you can have them both uh, at the same time recording audio from both sides. So when you're recording, you'll be able to hear both sides. Now, also the good thing about it is that it also reduces ambient noise you know environment noise so when you're speaking your audio your voice is the one that's supposed to be projected higher than any other sound you know what better way to try this out than outdoors we have wind going on right here we have airplanes we have birds we have a lot of stuff uh, a lot of noise going on so you guys let me know how it sounds right now what I'm recording is from the front mic I have it set to the front now I will be flipping the camera around just to give you an example of what would it sounds like if you were to have it audio coming from the back. Now, right now there's an airplane passing by. I don't know if you guys can hear that noise or not. Let me know in the comments down below. So now we got the rear mic going and not the front. I kind of want to do a comparison how the sounds are when it's capturing only audio from the back. Let me know in the comments down below guys. Now, if I were to flip the camera around, let me see. Let me flip this here first. All right. So, how is it that the audio is working now, capturing from the back? Now, in the back, what I have is no filter, no uh, windscreen or anything like that. They just straight on mic. All right. So now we switch to dual microphone, so the double microphone setting which allows me to record the front and also record the back. So I don't know if you guys can hear from the front and let me flip the camera. Also, you can hear me from the back. This is the back area. So how does that sound? Now I'm gonna be doing a shortly another comparison. I'm gonna ask my girlfriend to come out here and also we're gonna have uh, a couple chat, you know, a little chat to see how it works with uh, having someone in the front and the back and not too close from the mic but uh, kind of pointing you know, directly at that microphone. So see how that sounds. So let's get on that. All right, so this time we are indoors and we're using both mic, front and rear. So uh, let's do a test comparison right here. So what are we cooking right here today, basically, huh? Today we are making a HelloFresh salmon and creamy Dijon char sauce. It's like my favorite recipe from them. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Super good, so just cutting some potatoes, cut the zucchini, getting ready to zest this. So. That looks pretty good, I like it. Yes. I like how the potatoes are coming along, pretty good. huh? I'm really good at following recipes and thank you for showing me how to cut potatoes in a wedge because I never knew how to do that until today. Nice, I guess my culinary skills huh, came into play my right now. Culinary huh? certificate is helping us right now. <laughs> So, let's see how that, you know, food comes out to be later on. But for right now, what we're going to do is actually try some audio. So, let me know, guys, what you think in the comments down below. Like I said, this is using both mic, dual front and rear on the mobile double mic. Now, one of the reasons why I recommend this right here, the mobile and I've been offering for a while is because they're budget friendly. You know, they're made out of great quality and they produce great quality audio as well. One of the reasons why I mentioned at the beginning to make life easier, because there's a lot of mics out there, but they could be very expensive. And if you're in a budget or if you want to just improve your audio at a very affordable price, this would be the best way to go for it. All right, guys, so that was the review of the double mic from mobile. I want to give time to mobile for sending in this mic for review and also for the cool looking hat that I'll definitely be using both a lot. Now, if you found this video helpful, then do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button below. And don't forget also to hit that bell icon as well.
You can also follow me on Instagram at Rafi underscore Ray. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Rafi Red, signing out.